Hey you guys, so it is trade show weekend. I am down in Atlanta. Uh, I have been vlogging today, but I realized I didn't record an intro. So I'm gonna record an intro for this vlog as I'm recording my outro. So uh, it'll make sense. Um, but I have just been doing like little clips throughout the day so you guys could see our journey down here. Uh, and yeah, it's been fun so far. And uh, here's the rest of the vlog. Right, we are starting this morning by bathing Scuzzy. He's got a couple of mats up in here and probably some tangles on his legs. I just bathed him like two weeks ago, so he should be pretty good, but he's going to need some brushing. So we're going to get him prepped and then I will do um, his paw pads. They don't I'm oh, sorry, I'm pointing the right way. They're not going to need a lot, but I'll do that in his nails. So I don't have to do that at the show. So then at the show, we'll do the demo. I'm going to shave his body down. We do a seven. And then right now we're growing the legs. I kind of want to like grow them out long and like bevel them. So we'll do that. So anyway, and these rubber bands I cut out, I don't pull them out because I don't want to cause extra break breakage. He likes to rub his head on the couch. So this, his hair will look like this five minutes after I put it up a lot of times, but he is scuzzy right now. Um, but yeah, we'll do the majority of his haircut at the trade show. I will go ahead and shave out in between his eyes just in case like they're runny at all. That way it doesn't get messed up again before he goes in for his haircut, maybe shave his lips. And I always shave like this little area. You see that like brown piece of hair right there? I shave that out too. It just gets yucky. Um, so anyway, this is where we're starting and our prep to go down to Atlanta today. Yay. Right, so here he is after we're ready for Atlanta. Let me unhook him, put him down so you guys can get the full view. I did go ahead and do his sanitary uh, and his paw pads and I trimmed a little bit between his eyes like I said. Come here. And we're hoping he can keep his hair up until we leave. Otherwise I'll have to fix it again before we get in the car and all of that. So anyway, I'm about to go in. I go shower and get ready so I can start packing my stuff and then I'll come back out and pack the van because I'm going to do a video for that and right now I'm looking crazy. <laughs> okay, here we are packed and ready. I got my suitcase. These are my grooming supplies. Stroller. Crate. Ham. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Come here. Here he is. <laughs> All right. We're about to hit the road, Hammy. Okay. On the way. Right, so we are at Burger King. I was like almost wanting something. I almost stopped at Checkers and then there was a Whataburger I should have stopped at. And I was just like kept driving. And I was like, I am starving. I've got to stop to eat. So there's our man chilling. There's a stroller back there. Um, so I think I've got like two and a half hours left to Atlanta. Um, so not too bad. I'll be there around dinner time. So I'm going to eat this now. And then by the time I get there, I'll probably be ready to go down. There's a restaurant in the hotel that I stay at. They'll just go down and get, they have like a really good, like she crab soup. I don't remember what else they have. For some reason that soup's really standing out to me. So I'll probably get something like that. I think they had like flatbread pizzas or something. I don't know. Get something like that down at the restaurant when I get there, once I get settled in and everything. I'm like a little bit worried about how much stuff I have. Like I know it's not a big deal and like, the valet people are like used to dealing with that but like that stroller I have not gotten to like it, it's my friend so I'm borrowing it so I haven't like gotten to like unfold it and stuff yet so I'm like worried about doing that when I pull up because like otherwise they're gonna have to like carry that too so I'm like it's probably better to just put it together and push hammer in on that I would think rather than trying to like walk him in and then have them have to put that on the cart too I don't know <laughs> it's like a dumb thing to stress over really everything's good everything's worked out I am kind of wishing I stopped at that checkers or what a burger because I was gonna end up getting a burger anyway I passed a chick-fil-a and then I kind of realized I was like well I'm not really in the mood for chicken which is weird because that's been like my thing recently has been anything chicken but now I'm like on a burger kick so I don't know but uh 
a burger really sounded good today. I had a bagel this morning, but I'm starving. So I have my cherry, strawberries and cream, it's not even cherry, strawberries and cream, uh, Dr. Pepper. I've been really liking these recently. I quit drinking Red Bulls, so I've been trying to find something else that's good, that doesn't have shitloads of caffeine in it. Um, so anyway, the car in front of me is pulling up to the window, but just figured I'd check in, tell you guys where I'm at around the, on the route. I wanted to do like each vlog have, like each day do a vlog, you know, and like have different content for each day, like it's three separate videos. So I'm trying to just like make this one have a little something to it, you know, but we'll talk more when we're at the hotel and talk about like what we're expecting for the weekend and stuff like that. But anyway, so we are in, I think we're in Athens, Georgia right now. Uh, so like I said, I've got about two and a half hours left. I drive back roads to get down there. It's really not that much difference. And, and then I don't have to go on the crazy Atlanta interstate co close to the airport. Cause you know, the convention center is right there by the airport. So it's a lot, you know, anyway, so I'm going to go get my Whopper. All right. We made it to the hotel. Say hey, 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 hey. He's so, so excited. I'm so excited. We tried to pick up a husband. <laughs> the guy that brought my stuff up, he was like, are you married? And I was like, no. And he's like, I can't believe nobody's put a ring on your finger. And he was, he was leaving and he's like, well, if you ever find yourself wanting to get married. <laughs> Love it. He was cute. He's had all his tattoos and stuff. Real cute. Let me close this. Don't feel weird to like be in a hotel room and have like the window open. How the hell am I closing the Look how close we are to the airport. Can y'all see that plane? It's, it looks so huge. I think on camera it doesn't flatter it. There we go. There's all a lot in here. Where's the heat? I'm telling y'all, I've been hot. It is hot in this world. Right, Ham? I'm gonna let him out to stretch his legs a little bit. I'm still pretty full from the Burger King, but I do wanna go down to the restaurant down there. I can't drink. So, um, no drinks. Eh, I love my vodka cranberries, but can't be doing that. So, um, just going to be going down. I'm going to get some soup or something. Ooh. Oh, yawn. What is this? <coughs> this works. Can't sleep. Oh, it's like a sleeping spray. I might try this. I think I can use this. Do I have to put it on myself? Let's see. Pillow spray. No, I think I can use this. It's just lavender and chamomile. Spray a fine mist over your pillow before bedtime. Oh, I'm going to be trying this. I've never seen that before. I've heard of it, but I never, like at a hotel, I never have seen anything like that. <laughs> he is zooming, honey. I know what he wants. He wants to come up on the bed. Let's get him up here. Oh, yeah. That's what we want, huh? He's trying to figure out. He can't jump, like, up, up on big things like this. Oh, hey, me. Oh, he loves the hotel, doesn't he? I spent a lot of time on the phone with Joey Rickett. Love him. Oh, the baby. Um, but, yeah, I talked to Jilly for, for probably, like, an hour. Man, I should have brought my book. I was just thinking, I was like, is there anyone near here that, I mean, I'm sure they got Barnes and Noble around, but I should have brought my book. I just bought a new book recently. I have some Audible on my phone, but um, reading a book really helps, you know? And they got these nice lights on the bed. Ah, uh, don't you dare. That's how his head gets all that stuff. Did y'all see him? He immediately went for it. But they have these lights up there. It'll be perfect for reading, Hammy. Look at that face. Oh, he's a hammer. Hammer whammer. <sighs> I didn't see that there was any exceeding in here. I'm hot. Is that a safe? Let's explore. Oh, here we go. That's right here. I'm going to turn it down to like 70 at least. Maybe 69. That's where I keep my house at, like 69 or 70. Now, why don't you jump down? Because you know you're just going to want to be back up on the bed. We got his little 
situation here. I probably need to take him out to go to the bathroom here in a second. Guys. I probably should. I gotta pee too. Yeah. All right, let me do that. Let me take him out to go potty and stuff and then I'll check back in when I come up to get him settled in. Look at this bathroom, isn't that it's beautiful? I used to stay at the um, Country Inn and Suites. The last time I went there, it just was not that nice. So I may put my suitcase in there. That guy was so nice. Listen, I'm looking for a husband. I got rid of that boyfriend I had. Well, somewhat. Hmm. Um, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I could use a good man in my life. What's on my chin? Damn, I'm over here talking to this guy. He's flirting with me. I got damn makeup on my chin. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <sighs> it's so nice in here. I love this mirror. I'm gonna have to take a selfie or something. Look, it like makes my eyes look all bright. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna pee and then I'm gonna take him to pee. <laughs> so we just got back up to the room and I was like, let me get this stroller figured out. And I'm like sitting here struggling with it. And I'm like, honestly, this would be so funny for you guys to be able to see. So we're gonna do this together. Hmm. Wait, is that something? We need us to extend more, right? I think that was something. Okay. Wait. Okay. Oh, oh, look. Okay. And then now, Now this connects. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Wait, it's backwards, right? It's gotta be. I gotta figure out how to get this over. Let's see, take that out. Yeah, because you wouldn't want the big wheels in the back, not that you guys can see that yet, yeah, because that's the brake. And this um, goes either way. So I just gotta figure out how to turn these bars. You know what? Why don't I read the instructions? Because I think I told Jill I was borrowing this. Push handlebar operations. Push the left and right triggers down together to reverse handlebar. Right triggers. So it fits. Let's move that. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, it's going to break on. All right, let me break it. Oh, perfect. Oh, look at us. Come here, Hammy. This is gonna be us tomorrow with my baby in the stroller. <laughs> yeah, come on, Hammy. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> he tolerates me. Look at him. Little baby. <laughs> Look how good he's sitting, too. Look, hey, me. Bless. Look at you. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God, I love it. I love that he's not trying to jump out either. He's a cautious guy, so I think he's gonna be good. Um, so I can just put him in here and like, we could do it like a real baby stroller, right? Let's stay up. There we go. <laughs> he, looks, <laughs> he looks like a little baby. <laughs> When I was checking in with him, the girl thought I had a baby with me. She was like, oh, do you need to be in near the elevator for your little one? I was like, oh no, like last year he's fine. Because, you know, sometimes people, especially in this industry, people call the dogs babies all the time. Y'all, I'm cracking up. This is hilarious. Look at him. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, hold on. I gotta put this on Instagram. All right, I had to put my jacket on because <laughs> I was like, 
Oh, it's way too hot in here. Let me turn my AC like way down. I turned it to 69 and it was cold when I came back in here and they don't have any blankets. This is the only drawer I haven't checked. No, that just has a safe. Damn it. Oh well. I should have brought a blanket. Did I not? I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. So, um, okay. <laughs> I was trying to figure out you want to come up here. Um, okay. So, recap. We had, it was about four hours down. Um, we took back roads as we do. I don't like driving 85 down. It's just a nightmare on the interstate, especially as you get closer to Atlanta. And did I start to say this already? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Um, but the interstate when you get to the airport is a nightmare. Like the traffic's crazy and there's like six lanes. It's just like so much. Oh, you ate all your foods? Good boy. I tried to put it in his crate with him and uh, he was just gonna flip it because he knew that that meant I was about to go down to the restaurant. He knows the gig now. Cause like, I look at it like you gotta sit in your crate to eat anyway. So like, you might as well just do that while I'm down at the restaurant. I keep wanting to say the bar, but I can't do the bar right now. I did sit at the bar. Cause it, when you're by yourself, like, I don't know. I almost like feel bad, like being uh, alone at a table. Like, look at them. If you just want like a cuddle dog, Shizu, all the way. Y'all, look at this fucking baby. Did I, I remember if I said on here or not, <laughs> but when we were checking in, the lady thought I had an actual baby with me because I had him in that, the stroller, but I didn't have the stroller part. I was just carrying the top part and it looked like a car seat. So they literally thought I had a baby with me. I was like, oh, I do. Look at him. You're going to tell me I don't have a baby with me? Sure as hell do, don't we? I do got a baby. I do baby hand. Lord. Um, anyway, so we had a four hour drive down. We talked to Jilly. We talked about that. Um, got here. We went outside and went potty, but it was raining and Hammy doesn't like being out in the rain and I really didn't want him getting soaked because he's got a demo at 11 tomorrow. So, um, he peed about five times. Last year when we came, Hammer did not poop the entire time, so I don't know if he's going to poop when we're here this time, but it, luckily we're only here. He went out several times before we were coming down here, so I'm hoping you pooped then. Um, and we'll try again in the morning and hopefully it won't be raining. I actually don't know, though, if it's going to rain tomorrow. Mm. I don't know what we're going to do. Thank you so much for sneezing in my face. We love to see it. Yeah. He has a shizu. Mm hmm mm hmm The way he's looking at me right now, he looks so crazy. Like, he looks cute on camera, but, like, <laughs> in person. Look at this damn dog. Look at him. Oh, my lord. Oh, he and me. They're like, oh, you don't have a baby? Do you see this? Mm-hmm. I sure do have a baby, don't I? Sure do. Yes, he is. Look, he's got his hair. It's so long now. Um, but yeah, so I got here and like I said, check in. They thought Hammy was a uh, actual baby, which he is, as we've discussed. Um, and did I say that the, I think I did say that the guy that brought my bags up was like, if you need a husband, <laughs> you can hit me up. <laughs> uh, he's cute. Little tattoos and dreads and all that. Yeah, I think I did tell you all that. So that was funny. Oh, I got you. I'm not gonna let you fall. Are you, are you going back? What are you doing? Huh? Um, and I just went down. Okay, first of all, I was on the way down to the restaurant in the elevator. And this guy's in the elevator. And he's super nice. And he was like, oh, are you here for the trade show? And I was like, yeah, I yeah. am. I was like, are you here? Are you working? And he was like, oh, yeah. He's like, I work at the Hamby booth. I said, oh, <laughs> okay. I said, uh, I used to have Hamby. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, I hope it was good to you. I said, mm, it was okay. I said, y'all had a lot of issues at that point in time. Sir, you're cramping my style. Let's do this. Here we go. Okay. Um, so I, I said, yeah. I was like, I had some issues. I remember having some issues back in the day, you know. 
was like, mine was a 2019. And uh, he was like, yeah, you know, did the whole like wagon tail size problems too. I was like, yeah. I said, well, I was like, I do have wagon tails now. I was like, I have a clean power system. And I was like, at first I did have some problems, but it's all working out, out now and it's a great van and da da da. And he, I mean, he was super nice. Like I'd never seen him before. Y'all know I had the run-ins with the, the Hamby team. I had to block like half of them. Have I ever, I don't know if I've even talked about that on YouTube. It got to the point where I was like, Lord, I don't even want to say the name. I feel it's like, like Beetlejuice. You say it three times and the Hamby people are going to come after you. They probably still like watch my YouTube because it's one place I couldn't block them. It was literally like when I was in the process of selling my van, if I went onto my story and said anything about a van, whether it, look at this damn dog. <laughs> it didn't have to be about Hamby. Like if I just said like this da 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 with vans, one of them would message me every freaking time. It was the one daughter-in-law that's up there. I'm not going to name her name because again, Beetlejuice, you say it three times, she's going to reappear to fucking harass me again. Um, and anyway, it was like, like I said, I could just be like, wagon tails, such and such. And then she'd be messaging me. And like, it got to the point, she's like putting in requests on what I'm going to put on my story. And it was like, I literally could not live my life without them saying something or doing something. Cause like it started basically the initial, what happened was that when people started having issues with their vans and instead of addressing it, they were just kind of blowing people off saying like it was a fluke you're unlucky that oh my god that was their thing it was like you were just unlucky the amount of people they told that that are all having the same issues like oh you're just unlucky and uh even the guy I just talked to said I was like oh you guys were having blower motor issues in the AC units and I was like it sounds like you went I think they went brushless or something like that and I've heard that it's fixing the problem but um he uh he said oh yeah that was the manufacturer that was basically their fault and not our fault I'm like classic fucking handy like this is never our fault it's always somebody else i swear to god curtis trained them well <laughs> it's never our fault like and that's that's what irritates me is there was things that was their fault and they never took ownership over that and like i don't know i to me like as a business owner if i make a mistake i say like I'm sorry, I messed that up. That is my fault. And then I take accountability, you know, like example of like, there's been times I've been like, you know, booking an appointment and I like send the wrong date. Like I meant to say this number, I clicked the wrong number and sent it. And they're like, wait a second, like you mean this day? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. Yep. I was typing too fast, whatever. Um, you know, those kind of things. Like if you make a mistake, that's fine. But like, just say like, yeah, you know, we, we were having this problem and we didn't know what the cause was for a while, but we got it worked out. Like, I would respect that so much more than it's always somebody else's fault. Like, that's king fucking Hamby. So anyway, uh, initially, people started having issues with their vans. Hamby was brushing it on the rug. Like, oh, that's somebody else's fault. You know, that's, you're the only one affected. Oh my God, the amount of people that were told that, that it was just, that they were the only ones affected. Well, my van had been fine for a while you know i did make a video on this mm -hmm. i did but we'll go back into it real quick so um mine been fine for a while but then i started having issues with the mercedes van that were caused by hamby and to my knowledge none of this has actually been changed so like um my belt tensioner went and they said it was from idling um that it should not have gone out that early um what else? Alternator. That's all the amount of handy alternators that go out because they're these vans are not meant to idle. The EGR valve clogging because again, they are not meant to idle, but handy made their system so you have to idle your vans. And now they have the lithium batteries. I am interested. I should have asked that guy cuz he didn't know me. I should have asked him if um you still have to idle the vans with these new lithium batteries they put in because that's that's why I switched to wagon tails flat out was because I don't have to idle. I asked because I actually decided to get a wagon tails last year in Atlanta. I went up and talked to Dennis and I just said, I said, listen, here's the thing. I was like, I'm breaking down. It was like becoming once a month, like to once every other month I was down and I was like, I'm losing clients over it. I'm losing money over it. And I was like, you know, please tell me about your van. 
and he showed me all the details. It looked really solid to me. So I called my mechanic because at this point we were on first name basis. They knew me because I was in there so fucking much. And I said, I was like, hey, you know, I saw this other van. It doesn't have to idle. Um, you know, here's the details of it. I was like, if I sell my van and I buy this one, do you think that it will fix my problems? And he said, absolutely. He said that the conversion from the Hamby was what was causing all the in engine related issues in my Mercedes. So that is why I got my wagon tails. And like I said, as far as I know, you still have to idle the vans. So unless they've changed their AC unit to where it runs off the lithium battery so you don't have to idle, I still would not recommend getting a Hamby. So Nicole did tell me um, that the new vans are like very different. I just saw her voice my mommy. I want to ask her if um, that if you still have to idle the the new vans. You know, I wonder if Hamby's website says that. Maybe I should have looked that up. I didn't bring my laptop with me, so I can't do that while we're chatting over here on the video call. But anyway, like I said, what are the fucking odds that the first person I end up talking to from the convention is goddamn Hamby? I wish I could go over and look in the vans, but I'm probably all but banned from their booth. <laughs> I would be so mad if I walked over there. They know me too goddamn well for me to sneak over there. I'm a little too obvious, so I don't know. I wonder if there's somebody here that I could send in as a spy and be like, ask them if they still have to idle their vans. Just be like, oh, so like to run it, do you have to idle it? Just curious. Um, if I find that out, I'll let y'all know in tomorrow's vlog. You're so comfy and you're making my leg fall asleep. I can feel it. I'll get up in a second. Uh, but then, tea. Okay, so I went down to the bar. And listen, I'm not judging anybody. Like, do your thing. There we go. Um, but I sat down next to this, like, beautiful girl, right? And I wouldn't even pay attention when I sat down. But then I, like, somehow, like, started picking up on, like, her conversation with the guy. Oh, he was putting, he was like, oh, do you want to wear your necklace? And he was, like, putting her necklace on for her. And I started, like, listening to his voice. And I was like, he sounds a little old, which, you know, do your thing. But it, like, very much seemed like a sugar daddy kind of situation. And, like, again, I'm not judging, but I was also listening into their conversation. So, he was a truck driver. He makes pretty good money. He's got three kids, but he said his ex-wife is crazy. And um, she puts ideas in their head, so they all have him blocked. <laughs> and, like, he's going to Nashville tomorrow. I was like, Lord, I was getting all the tea. He also breeds English Mastiffs, so... I was like, wow. I was over here acting like I'm watching the goddamn golf game. Like, I care about that. I was like, oh, no, I'm on this date too, honey. I'm committed. I was kind of sad. Like, I finished my soup so fast. They were going to be there a while. Like, they just gotten appetizers, and they were, like, getting a bunch of drinks. They're probably still down there right now. It was going to be probably one of those, like, long-ass nights that they're going to be out. And, and that bar is open until midnight. I didn't want anything. Um, it's not, well, it's a restaurant and bar. Um, and, uh, like I said, they're going to be there for a minute. But she's just, like young beautiful girl and uh he was there buying all her stuff I was like all right girl do the damn thing I'm here for it good for her how do I do that shit you know do you ever think about that like how do these girls like like you know because I'm not talking like I, I'm we're gonna assume that they were not sleeping together she may have I don't know that's girl do your thing but let's assume like because I've heard of people that just like want the company like just somebody to go out on dates with them like honey sign me up I'll go out with you pay me to go on a date with you are you kidding me pay for my food and everything we go to a nice restaurant I get anything I want girl like how do I sign up for this you know <laughs> anyway so that was my excitement of the night I gotta find out I don't know if Lance is like leaving me my um lanyard thing I don't know when I went to um fun in the sun I just went up to the thing where they give you your name tags and I was like I'm working at the sharpies booth and uh they just like wrote me a name tag but then he had mine out in the booth so like I don't know I was just thinking like maybe I should message him I don't know how late it is though I know they go to bed early because they're up early he'll message he'll probably message in the morning and uh, I think I have his phone number somewhere. I think I had it from last year when I was in Atlanta. He's probably going to message me and be like, your name tag is at such and such. He knows what hotel I'm staying at because um, they were paying for me to be here. So they paid for the room. So they know where I'm at. So 
love it. It's pretty cool because I like coming to Atlanta anyway, so I probably would have done it regardless. But uh, it's nice that uh, I'm getting reimbursed for it. So there's that. Um, so yeah, tomorrow our demo is at 11. So I'm going to wake up real early and do my makeup and everything and take Hammer down and let him potty. And then they have like a Starbucks downstairs. So I'll make a little coffee. I've been trying not to drink caffeine. Um, so I think I'll go, get, go down and get a little coffee. I have they got good channels here. I like the ghost shows. That's always what I watch when I go to hotels. But you know what I hate that I always forget because I don't have cable is like after a certain hour they get like infomercials. Like I'm spoiled on the YouTube. You think that they've got, this doesn't look like a smart TV. I can't tell. I like when they have like the smart TVs that you can stream to because that's what I do when I'm home. I stream YouTube or whatever. I guess I could play YouTube. What is this? Let me look at Oh no, that's for the dining room. In room dining menu. Hmm. Look at his little face peeking. I'll probably go out to dinner tomorrow night with the GSH people. I haven't seen them post about it. I hope I didn't miss that. I think they would have told me, right? I think last time we did it on Saturday. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, we usually do a dinner all together. Our booth this year is huge. I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. Cause like I said, I want to do each day, do a different vlog. Like I'll do like day one, day two, day three, you know? I'm going to check out at 11 on Sunday. I don't know how I'm going to do that like get my car. I guess I'll have to go pay for parking at the convention. That sucks. That's probably like 10 bucks. That's all right. But boo. Cause so I was like, damn, like I'm not gonna leave at 11. Am I? <sighs> shall, shall we? I guess we'll see how we're feeling. No, I said I would stay for Sunday. And then, because if I leave at 11, there's not going to be anything to vlog for you guys. So, I'll let y'all know tomorrow if I feel like leaving at 11. It's going to just really depend. I wish that I had, I have like this big comfy pillow, like this like body pillow kind of thing that I've been using. And it's just so fucking comfy to sleep on. And uh, I'm really wishing I brought that with me. I was like, they'll have a lot of pillows on the bed. And they do have, like, there's a good amount. There's like two big ones on each side, but like this thing is like like one of those like pregnancy kind of pillows, the big U shaped, so it's just like you're all cuddled in, you know. I wish I had that with me. I'm getting warm now. I think if I take this jacket off, though, I'm gonna be too cold. But I need it cold in here when I'm sleeping because I get really hot when I'm sleeping, so I have to have it cold in here. Um, and then this guy's gonna be sleeping with me. He is a very good cuddler. So there's that. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it an early night tonight. I'm honestly getting tired and I don't sleep extremely well when I'm out of town. So I'm hoping like at least if I go to bed early, then uh, I'll get a decent amount of sleep. And I am going to use that pillow spray. I'll let y'all know how that is in tomorrow's vlog. See if it's any good, if it helps me sleep. And like I said, I'm it's only got like lavender and chamomile in it, so that should be fine. I think sprays and stuff are fine. I don't think I have any issues with this. I don't know. New things in my life, you know? So anyway, um, yeah, I think we're about to lay down. I'm going to take my makeup off and uh, get all settled in. I was going to call Jilly back tonight, but I may skip on that because I'm feeling a little tired. I don't even know what time it is. It's throwing me off so bad with like it getting dark so early but it will change tomorrow night. So it'll get dark later. So that'll be nice. But that won't really count until Sunday anyway. Yeah. So I won't even notice till I get home. 
isn't his hair just so fun? Like, look how long that shit is. That's shy of three years of growing. I've never cut it since I've had him. He came to me, he was a seven all over um, from his last owner. Um, it's one of my clients. He's an older man, he has dementia. And I'm actually in friends with his granddaughter. That's how this all came to be and how I started grooming him in the first place. And he's uh, definitely progressed, unfortunately. He was in the early stages whenever I was grooming Hammer for him. Um, but he was getting to a point where he was going to go stay somewhere that he couldn't have a dog. Um, I don't think he went straight into an assisted living, but um, wherever he moved first, he couldn't bring Hammer. And then now he is in a full on um, probably memory care unit at this point, I would imagine. Because um, assisted living is typically when they are still like able to live their life normally and they just need some assistance. So that's, um, I don't remember if I've talked about my grandpa on YouTube much, but that's where he's at right now. He's in the beginning stages of dementia and Alzheimer's. And if he were to go somewhere like that, he would um, go to assisted living and he will progress to memory care. So um, as far as I know, Hammer's papa is, uh, He's, I don't want to say he's like far gone, but like she said that like he's, he doesn't remember a lot of people and I don't know, sad. especially sad because I know that's where my grandpa's getting. I go and see him as much as I can because I'm like, I want him to remember me. I can't, uh, that when that day comes and he doesn't know who I am, I'm going to be so devastated. I hope he remembers me until he passes, you know, I don't know. My great grandma had Alzheimer's, but like I was never that close to her, so I didn't really see how she got, you know. I was much younger then, so I'm sure my family would probably avoided me seeing too much at that time. I was a teenager. Um, I think I was probably about 16. I think I was around driving age, but it's different with my grandpa. He was my dad growing up. Still is. He's still, and to the point that like, if somebody's talking to me about him, like somebody that knows him, they'll be like, your dad, because he's my dad, like flat out. Like I've been, um, me and my mom have never been extremely close. Like we've been close, like closer than like a lot of parents and kids, but like we've always kind of like bickered and like not fully gotten along, but recently we've been along really well. And she was telling me, um, that I'd said something to her about like my grampy and she was saying like, she's like, you never got to see like how he was with you when you were a baby. Um, and basically she first, she called from the hospital saying that it was time that me and her could go home. And uh, he like rushed right out, like got in the car and my grandma was like, well, we have to get the car seat, you know? Cause I guess back in like the seventies when my mom and my uncle was born in the sixties, they didn't have car seats for like little babies. So he didn't, he didn't grab my car seat. So my grandma had to get the car seat and then he didn't know how to put it in. They got to the hospital and he couldn't get it in. And he's like fighting with it, trying to rush so that they can get me in the car. And uh, he finally got it in and uh, um, my mom said he was struggling and the nurse that like wheeled her out in a wheelchair, like wouldn't let her help him. And, uh, he finally gets the car seat in, brings me home. Well, my grandma had called all the neighbors and everything and said like, you know, Janine and Rachel, who's my mom, she, they're on their way home, but like, you know, let them get settled in and you guys can come by tomorrow and see the baby and everything. And uh, my grampy went out door to door, lined up in the on the corner of the street, had everybody come over. Like literally the one neighbor came in and she was like, I'm so sorry, like I know you said tomorrow and we were planning on tomorrow. She was like, but he came to our door, he came and got us and told us to come right now. <laughs> he was so excited to see me. When my mom told me that, I was like sobbing because like, you know, I didn't know my dad until I was 16 and then I met him one time and it went terribly. He's an awful person. So I've always kind of said like, oh, I didn't have a dad and da 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 And then like my grampy, he was so excited and I was home. I was like, I did have the dad experience. Like how selfish of me to sit here and be like, I never had a dad when my grampy was that way with me. I used to say when I was little that he's my best buddy. 
I don't think I could say that to him now without like actually sobbing. Like it's making me tear up just thinking about it. Like he's my best buddy. He's still my best buddy. I love him. I go and see him every Wednesday and we go out to dinner and he, um, I try to go on Sundays too if I can, but I love my grandpa. So, you know, just cause I didn't have like my blood father, my sperm donor, in my life, I call him that. He wasn't like a literal sperm donor. He was, well, he was, but like she didn't go to a sperm bank. She just hooked up with a dumb motherfucker and got pregnant. <laughs> so, which listen, it, it happens, Hammy. So, not faulting her for it. But anyway, um, he's just a piece of shit, and uh, I wasn't missing anything by not having him in in my life. Obviously, because I got my grampy. He's the best ever. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I was really loved. And like I said, I think that's why it made me so emotional when she said that. Because I was like, how, like, naive of me to sit here. And, like, I have always considered my grandpa my dad. But, like, I think I've always kind of took it as, like, but I didn't have my real dad, you know. Like, and especially when I was little, I was like, I knew I had my grandfather. But, like, I was like, I don't have my dad, you know. And uh, now as an adult, I'm like had a dad the entire time like he was so excited he used to film everything I did when I was little I've talked about that before that I think that's why I'm so comfortable on camera because like basically I was born around the time that a lot of people started getting at home video cameras and he had his and he loved to film everything like the trees in the backyard everything and um he filmed me all the time doing everything you know and uh that's one thing that's really cool I want to be able to he's got all the VHS's from when I was a baby and toddler and all that I'd really love to transfer them to like DVD or maybe even like a USB or something I don't know or even just like a download file like I don't know how would they do that these days because like I don't even think I have a DVD player anymore but I'd love to transfer that into something like more modern so I can watch it because who the hell has a VHS this, these days you know um but yeah so I would love to be able to go back and watch those videos. So cute that he did that for me. Um, there's so many videos. Oh my God, there's so many. Like he's got a bookshelf full of them, of just like videos of everything. Oh my Griffey, he's the best. So, you know, it just, I think as I've gotten older, I realized like it was wrong of me to ever sit here and be like, I didn't have such and such because I had such a good family. I still do, I have such a good family, such good, people around me such good support and amazing dogs it's a good life I have I'm really really thankful you know I mean hell I'm sitting in this hotel room it's nice I'm in Atlanta I'm gonna have so much fun at the trade show this weekend I got a lot to be grateful for so anyway we kind of got off track here this has nothing to do with the trade show at all but uh I think we kind of went over our plans we saw the room I mean y'all got an idea of the room there's a king bed there's a little gap right here with the bedside table um actually it's kind of all like one thing like it's like a big headboard and then there's like the two bedside tables on either side you also have a bathroom so yeah i think we're about to take our makeup off and go to bed but uh we will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog and uh hanging out at the trade show so I think tomorrow will be really fun I can't wait to show the booth and see everybody and all that I hope I have time to see everybody because last year I think I did the same thing last year that I was only there for one day like one full day and then I felt like I didn't have time to do all the things I wanted to do and I think next year I'm probably gonna do the same thing and only be gone for a weekend one of these days I'll do the four days in Atlanta but this year and next year didn't work out. I had clients scheduled yesterday. I didn't want to rearrange them. And uh, next year, I'm, I know I'm going to have to do a short trip. So, you know, it's fine though. I'm glad I get to go. I'm glad I get to do these things. And uh, I'm excited to see everybody tomorrow. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as always. So bye, ham I am. Thanks for hanging out with us. We hope you liked our stroller. Say bye. Look at that. His legs are so long now. I've just been growing them. We're doing bevels right now. I'm probably going to end up cutting them off again this summer because they are so much more maintenance and they get matted a lot faster than his mane. But I do like them for now. I'll keep them for now. But probably when it gets hot out, like 
May or June, probably end up cutting them off if I don't cut them off before then. But anyway, thank you guys as always for watching this vlog and we will see you in the next one tomorrow. Say bye.